That worked. Before we get into this video of how I got uh, this far on the kit, how everything spun out of control, remember, subscribe, comment, at a thousand subscribers, we're going to cut it off. And we're going to draw however many people we decide to draw for a giveaway. And a giveaway, we're not 100% sure on what it's exactly going to be, but of course it'll be this project oriented and it will only apply to the videos that are about this car. So the Couples Therapy Playlist. If you've commented and you're subscribed, you will automatically be entered to win. The more you comment, the more chances you have to win. Me not being able to leave anything well enough alone, I need the bumper closer. I really do. It just, it's a peace of mind thing, plus it lets me know all what really has to be done. So, funny thing, went inside, booted up Forza Horizon 3, grabbed the S14, popped the hood on it. I don't know if they're all like that, but there's like this little air snorkel thingy in this area and I know that's probably holding some of the tension up on this side I'm gonna hack out this I've got some more of this fender a little bit more of that fender that need to come off and uh, we'll see how it fits after that I can't test fit the buckets and stuff because all that stuff's all in the way from the pop-up headlights and all that junk. But as it sits right now, it's fitting level. It's fitting where it needs to. It's a little high on both sides. And that is because when the bumper comes out to where it needs to, which is literally about an inch, the bumper needs to come out. I think I'm making the assumption it does feel like it does because of this. I can't cut away any more of this bar because you already saw it. I've already got a 2x4 holding up this end because of all this junk over here that sits lower. But the way the front radiator support is on an S14 is different, obviously. Duh. But it's close. I mean, it's stupid close. I may end up moving those brackets up a little bit, actually. But what I'm going to have to do it's pretty simple. I'm going to figure out what the ride height roughly is going to be with the splitter on the front. And then we will know if it needs to go up or down. And I think it actually needs to go up just a smidgen. So we may end up like putting a bolt or some washers in the mounting tabs right here to raise the bumper up just slightly. Uh, but... It's really, really like, it's obnoxiously close. Close enough that I can cut the fenders up, the front fenders up, and then see down the line of the car what the stance is going to be. If we need to narrow the rear uh, over fenders or not. That's where we're kind of sitting right now. We don't know if we want to narrow them or not. 
because we, we're going for a square setup, not a staggered. So we don't want it angled like this. We want to actually flat and square. So we'll probably have to narrow them because they're really wide. For now, um, let me see if I can find my Dremel, my nice cutter for the Dremel, and we'll cut one of those off. We'll cut the uh, passenger side off so we can, or driver side off so we can see. So right now, this is all messed up. Perfectly fine. Knew it would be. Whatever. The point is, is because I want the bumper to sit slightly different than how the kit is designed. I knew these were going to sit low. Like once I got the kit out of the box and started looking it over. We're going to fit these to the fenders. Get them exactly the way we want. Now once that is done, which I think they're going to actually have to be narrowed slightly. I'm going to do some measuring and see how everything looks because I want the rear and the front openings to be the same radius which I don't think they are because the back end is too narrow it needs to be widened so that'll have to be sectioned out, widened out no big deal still not sure if we're going to narrow the flare because it is I don't know to me it's a little hot wheelish, like over exaggerated but that may actually look really good. The thing is, is we want a square setup. We don't want the, uh, you know, 13 inch wide tire on the back and the 8 inch wide on the front or, you know, whatever. We don't want that big difference. So it'll probably be narrowed out. Uh, I need to check the spec on these wheels to make sure that the offset's even the same front to rear. Because it may not be. No, they are. They're the same size, I think. Either way, once these are fitted here, these will be cut off, made into these, so it'll be all one fluid piece. And then we'll fiberglass, obviously, to make the bumper fit the fender better. It'll all be a piece and one piece, uh, basically adding fiberglass to the bumper. Perfectly fine. It'll be beautiful. A lot of work, but that's what a project car, especially when you decide to fit a kit that doesn't really fit. This is at least close. I've seen people fit kits that are for completely different make and models. That takes a lot more fun than this does. But, skirt went on nicely. It's about a quarter inch too far forward, too long. No big deal. Seam it, slide it back, re-glass it. Of course it has to come off because these will be rib netted. Everything will be the same hardware through the whole car. Uh, we're including any kind of mounting 10 mil mounting tabs underneath the hood will all match the same hardware which most likely will be black hardware uh, the same hardware that's there the hex heads but it'll just be black because it'll look better uh, than having these shiny bits all over the car because I don't want shiny car uh, well the paint will be shiny but I don't want like chromey looking stainless polishing I just don't want it there's not a whole lot more I can do today. Tomorrow's Easter. I got a bunch of stuff I got to do, so I got to call this one quits. But it's been a blast. It's it's really fun. The dog's loving it, running out here, and our four-year-old dog turned out to be twelve-ish or fourteen. I knew he wasn't four, but I didn't think that they lied to me that bad. I don't care. I, I'm still keeping him. Obviously, I'm not gonna go dump him like his previous owners did. So, I'm going to go take him inside. He's been sitting out around the corner for a while now. He's got a long cable, but I won't allow him into the garage when I'm cutting fiberglass or painting or 
or doing anything like that. So obviously it's not good for him. If I'm wearing a respirator, he doesn't need to be in here. And sparks and stuff. I don't want to get any hit with sparks. But I'm going to get off here. Thank you for watching. Mad respect to everybody doing this out there. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. So enjoy it. Because someday you'll be done with it. And you can enjoy it even more. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby. Yeah.